Hi, I'm Reva with Quality Sewing and Vacuum, and this is the new Brother Luminaire 2. It is a fabulous machine. Now, you may be acquainted with the Luminaire 1 or the XP1, and this has similar features to it, but oh, so much more. So just in general, I'm going to go over a couple of things that make the Luminaire wonderful, and then we're going to get into the really unique things on the Luminaire 2. So of course we have this really nice large size right here to the right of the needle for you to be able to work on large projects, home deck, quilting, all sorts of things there. And look at the height. It has lighting all the way across so you have no shadows that you have to worry about when you're sewing or quilting and uh, working on your projects. Another convenience thing that I want you to notice is that it has a matte finish, so it's not glary in your eyes, so you won't get the eye strain and fatigue that you might have if it was a shiny surface. Now, right now, I do have the embroidery unit on this machine, but it does have a regular tray and works just like any other machine. But since it's a longer chassis, it has a really long free arm, so you can get pant legs and all sorts of stuff uh, on the machine and work on cuffs and small projects very, very easily. Now the needle plate right here doesn't need a single tool to get into it. All you need to do is pop that and the needle plate is released and then you just put it back in and it's ready to go. How easy. You don't have to worry about getting out a screwdriver. It also has lots of room around the needle to be able to thread the needle and also to change the foot or replace the needle. So speaking about threading the needle, watch this. This is so cool. Now I have the thread through the thread guides and up into this little uh, piece right here. And all I have to do is push this button and it threads the machine for you. What could be easier? So that's absolutely fantastic. It also has a drop in bobbin. You can see how much thread is left on. Just really pretty fabulous. Now in sewing, it has a ton of different features in here that you're going to come to love. It has an auto pivot so when you want to turn a corner and you stop the needle will be down and the foot will automatically raise for you so you can move on to the next thing. It works very much like an iPad. It has a 10.1 inch touch screen and you can just scroll and pick whatever stitch you want and it will bring it up. You can also on this machine create your own stitches from scratch. Now, if you get stuck and you don't know what to do, there's this little button right here that looks like a little movie screen with a question mark in it. You touch that and it actually has the full manual built in and it's updated when the machine gets updated. And there's also an operation guide, sewing guide. So if you want to know how to put in a zipper and also explanations of different uh, stitches, but let's look at operation guide. So maybe you went on vacation or you've been doing gardening and you can't remember how to thread the needle all you have to go is to basic in operation go to threading and it will give you a whole list of what to do for threading but even better there's a movie and these movies are silent so you don't have to worry about not understanding the language that the person is speaking but it is nice and it goes nice and slow and you can pause it and then uh, work alongside and this library of how-to videos is ever expanding because it's updatable when the machine is updated oh and speaking of update i just updated this one and i did it via wi-fi so and it tells you it says new update available do you want to download and you say yes and it walks you through it so you don't have to do anything which is really cool. And since it's Wi-Fi, if I have an embroidery design that I've been working with on my computer and I want to send it through Brother Software, it will just send it right on over. I don't even have to worry about finding that stick to put it on. But it does have a USB stick if you want to use that. So we'll just close this out and go back. So isn't that, that's just really pretty cool and very, very helpful. Let's talk about something that is new. Now this is really cool. Have you ever done a decorative stitch and you want to end at a specific spot? But my goodness, what do you do? Where is it? You can't, you have to kind of measure and judge. This machine will take care of it for you. So what I have here is just a piece of fabric and I want to show you how we can stop at a certain spot on the fabric. So maybe you have a table runner or something that has a band and you want to stop right at a certain spot. We can do that. And then I'm going to also show you a really cool trick around the edge of this. But this machine, the um, Luminaire 2, comes with a sheet of fabulous little stickers, and we call them a snowball sticker because they're just a little ball. Can you see that cool? So on here, all I need to do is put it 
where I want my stitching to end. I want my stitching to end right here. And I don't have to stitch straight down onto it. I can be, this can be an inch and a half away from where I want to end the stitching path. So I had put it on crooked. I had to straighten it out. So there it is there. And I'm going to pop this in here and I'm going to come down and I'm going to show you how this works. Now I want to just choose a stitch and I, there's one in here that I thought was really pretty cool and something that I like to use a lot. And that is just the a cross stitch pattern. It makes a really nice edge. So let's use that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foot down and I'm going to come over and turn on the snowball feature. It's actually the end sewing function. Okay. So you'll notice right here that the illuminated projection line has found the end of my stitch line that I have asked for because that's where the snowball is. Now, if you were working on something really long, like a table runner or the top of a sheet, you can actually place this snowball at the very end. And when you get there, it will automatically find it. So you don't have to worry about being within a certain distance. You can use this if you're just a couple of inches away or if you're a couple of yards away, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this pattern out. It's just a little cross stitch pattern. And you can notice that the machine, since this stitch goes back and forth, it's actually uh, kind of wobbling there, but that's because it's resensing where that line is every time. And when it gets there, it's going to slow down and it's going to stop right at that spot. Isn't this cool? Able to make a row of stitches and exactly where you want them to go. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Now, this one is really pretty neat. Now you can do this with all the decorative stitches and everything, but I wanted to show you something that is so, I think this is gonna be so uh, helpful because I think it excites me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a blanket stitch or a buttonhole stitch, and then I'm gonna go back and just turn on my little snowball. And now what I'm gonna do is put my foot down. Okay, so I have the fabric position where I want it to go and I'm just gonna start sewing. And now I have my end stitch marker there. And with a blanket stitch even, I can stop and then I'll be able to rotate the fabric and keep going with my blanket stitch. Let me show you what that looks like. It's really pretty cool. Look, it has ended right at the end of the fabric. And if I had kept the fabric in, I could have just rotated the fabric and kept going and gone to the next point. This is really cool. You're gonna be able to do all the decker stitches on this machine and have them end exactly where you want them to go. So that is a new feature in the Luminaire 2. Have you ever worked with a decorative stitch but you don't know if it's the size that you want? This is really cool. This machine has beautiful, beautiful decorative stitches built into the machine, but sometimes it will, well, it always tells you what the width is and the length is. And you know, when it's speaking millimeters or points of, of inches, you don't know what size that is. So let's take a look and see what size that is. I'm going to turn on the projector right here. So now you can see the stitch exactly the size that it's going to be. If I want to change the length, of the stitch, I can do that here. If I want to change the width of the stitch, I can do that there. So let's choose to tear, make that smaller. Can you see that that's moving? Let me go this way. How about that? It makes it smaller and you can see it right on your fabric. So you know that it's going to work with what project that you're working on. Now, if you decide that that's not the right stitch over here, we have a full menu and we can act access the full menu and scroll through that menu and see which stitch that we want. And that's really cute. And oh, I like that one. So if that's the stitch I want to do, I can just click set and then that will come up as the main one. I can adjust the size again, the length and the width. And also depending on the fabric you're working on, now with the Luminaire 2, you can actually change the projection. So you can add in the uh, a bright background, a uh, soft background or a no background color so you can preview your stitches no matter what fabric color you're working on. What about when you're sewing seams, quilting or making a bag or a home deck project and you want to make sure your seam allowance is just right? 
Well, you can follow the markings on the bed of the machine. That's one way. But take a look at this. We have projected guidelines. Now over here, I have lots of different choices. One is the color of the line I want to see and its position. So maybe I want to have it in the center needle position. I can move that so it's on there. But there's also a secondary line and that I can move away from the main line and I can have it set at a specific measurement or even a quarter inch, a half inch, five eighths of an inch, whichever seam allowance you're working with. Right now I have it set at a quarter inch. So let's take a look at that. So look how cool this is. We have the red line for our stitching line and the green line for our seam allowance. So if I were to sew and I was doing quilting, I would run the edge of the fabric over here and then my needle will be stitching right there. Now, as you know, sometimes when you're sewing, it can be very, very difficult if you start going crooked to get yourself put back on the right path. But if you're looking out here, if you start to go astray, you can fix yourself before it ever gets to the needle, so your stitching line will be much more true. Now, while you're here, let's take a look at something else. There's different choices in with the lines that we have here and the options that we have. If we want to, we can turn on a 90 degree angle. Do you see that here? So if I am lining up with a piece of fabric, I can make sure that I have it perfectly square because maybe you're doing a pillow or you're doing a border on a quilt. You want to make sure you start out correctly. We also can do a 60 degree. So if you're working with a like a star quilt or a star block, you have the proper measurements. So you just line up the edge of your fabrics with the green and you're ready to go and you won't have to worry about being in the right spot when you start that pattern. Then we also have a 45 degree and this is perfect for when you want to do half square triangles or if you're doing bias and you're putting strips of bias together or a quilt binding, it will actually show you that angle so you can very very easily get that lined up where you want to go. Now another very exciting one is this grid. Now the grid you can change the size of this grid all the way up to over an inch in size and this is wonderful if you're doing multiple rows of stitches that you want to have aligned with each other. So maybe you want to do channel quilting and straight rows of quilting. You can mark one line on the fabric or align the edge of your fabric with one of the grid lines, stitch that, and simply align your stitched line with the next line that's on the projector, and then you'll have parallel rows of stitching. But you can also use this with those decorative stitches. So if I grab one of those decorative stitches and I turn on my projector, you're gonna be able to see that I can have both my projected line and all the tools that we use to adjust that pattern. So you can make sure that your stitches are exactly where you want them to be. So let's take a look at some of the really neat features in embroidery. Now, of course, there's beautiful designs that are built in, including Disney. You gotta love Disney. So that's only on the brother Disney machines that we have Disney. And this one is a Disney machine. So I'm just gonna grab this cute little Mickey head and there he is. Now I wanna get him in the hoop. Now, if you've done embroidery before, you know that a lot of times the challenge is in the hooping, getting everything perfectly straight. But a lot of times, if you've never hooped before, it's a real struggle to even get the fabric in the hoop, let alone getting the design straight. So there's a really wonderful feature, and this is the use of the snowman sticker. So the snowman sticker is a placement guide for your design. So his little head tells the machine that the top of the design needs to be facing how he is. So if he's sitting straight up, the top of the design needs to go that way. If it's this way, it needs to go that way so it knows. And then if you take a look, do you see how his belly button, he's got a belly button right there? That is the center of the design. So if you put the sticker right there, the design will be straight up and his tummy will be up here is the word center is is located but if you put it like this it's going to move the design it's going to rotate the design so i'm going to let's be mean i'm going to put the center of the design down here and i'm going to put him with his head facing downward because sometimes that's hard to do what i find the easiest thing to do is to put the snowman sticker on my project first and then hoop the project after i have the sticker on it 
Okay, so we have him in there. And if you take a look over here, I'm just going to say set. And I'm going to go to embroidery. There's a little image, little button that has a snowman on it. And I'm going to touch the snowman and then say scan. And there's a built-in scanner inside the machine. And it's going to go and take a look and find that snowman sticker. See, it found it. And it sees that it's pointing this direction and that I've moved it. So it's actually going to move the design and face it and rotate it just the way that I need it to. Now he's upside down. So he's right where we want him to go. Now, another thing that's pretty wonderful on this machine is there's this little icon. It's a little, it looks like a little, to me it looks like a party hat. So if we touch that, it actually turns on the projector because this machine has a projector on board, not just a scanner, but it has a projector. And you can see right here that the Mickey is going to stitch exactly where we've asked him to. And I'm going to just move the projector over a little bit so you can see. Now let me brighten it up so you can see his ears. Look at that, exactly where we want it to go. And just as a point of clarification, before you sew, take that little sticker off. Another thing that's really neat about this machine is that it can create an embroidery design for you from artwork. So maybe you have some artwork or a, a drawing that you like. Maybe you like to doodle and you've created your own drawing. Or maybe your niece or nephew or your grandkids have done that or your kids. You can take that and pop it on this plate. It comes with the machine. And we're going to slip this on and we're going to touch my design center. And then I'm going to ask it to find this design and it's going to scan it. So it's now using that scanner that's built into the machine to see what's on the scanning plate and it's going to be able to turn that into stitches which is really pretty cool so you can create your own quilting patterns you can create your own full color embroidery you can do whatever you want to earlier we did the same design and had it a beautiful little satin stitch all around them isn't it cute but i want to show you how you can fill it with color and as it finishes scanning, isn't it quiet? It's so nice and quiet, so much more so than previous machines. Okay, so now we have that in here and it's gonna spring up the design right on the screen and I can crop into just the part of the design I want. So maybe I only want a teapot in a whole, a whole scene of kitchen stuff. You know, you can just crop right around just the teapot and then we'll have our design and we can say set and then we can go to work with it. So if I want to fill him in, I can choose a beautiful color and let's go, let's go over here. We can zoom in up to 1600%, which is bigger than I want to go, but let's go in here and take a look at his little face. Isn't he a cutie pie? So I'm going to fill in his beak. And there I've got that done. And then if I click on next, not only will it have the satin stitch outline, but it also shows that I have that fill in there. Something new that's in here, this is really pretty cool. They've added new fills in here. So not only do you have stippling, but you also have decorative fills. And they've added six more fills on the Luminaire 2. So you know what? now have 42 different fill styles that you can choose from. This one's really pretty fun. So I'm going to click OK. And then I can just touch and fill my area with that. And then when I say next, it will give me a true preview of what that will look like in my hoop. And of course, you can change the size down to 50% of the original size. And you can also go up to 200% um, of the original size. And then you can, if you decide you want a different color, you can actually come in here and change it to be a different color and it will will do that another thing that you can do is you can do something called random shift and random shift will give you more of a kind of a morphed look it will look more like aggregate pebbles and it has a really nice amount of movement oh does that look like bubbles that's really cool but now you have more choices because not only do you have the three here but you have the a b and c down on the bottom so you have six different levels of uh, adjustment that you can do on the Luminaire 2. You also have the choice to have it fill in heavy and bold with a triple stitch or a single stitch. Another thing that is pretty neat in embroidery, if we go to embroidery, we have this really neat section right here, and this is called the quilt sashing. Now, quilt sashing will give you the ability to create a quilted border 
around a larger piece. So it doesn't have to just fit in the hoop. It can actually be 118 by 118 inches. So you can do the border on a king size quilt. In here, we have the addition of five brand new quilt patterns that you can do around your quilt project. Now I did say you could do king size, but you can also do smaller. So this one is much smaller and we're gonna talk about him in a minute. You could do small that will fit in a hoop all the way up to that king size quilt. So there's five new patterns in here, but if you take a look, there are now also five two color patterns. So those are really fun because then you'll do one color and then you could add pink and blue or orange and yellow, whatever you wanna do. So those are beautiful. And then a whole new category here with hexagons. And this is really, really fun. So I have uh, five that are in here now. And if when you choose one, it's really, really easy to use. You just pick it and say set, and then ask you, what is the size from the inside to the inside? What's the size of your hexagon? So you would put in the size and it asks for just over seven inches up to this one can be 102 inches. Wow, that's big. So I'm gonna just put in, let's say it was 15 inches set. How wide do you want your border to be? Maybe I want that to be two inches set. And of course I want to tell it what hoop I'm working in and then next, and then it will create it. And it says I need 12 different pieces to create the hexagon that I just asked for. So we're put it in memory. And then here it is right here. You touch that and you can bring it up and it's ready to go. And then it will walk you through creating a wonderful hexagon pattern. Okay, so let's see how we can stitch out our hexagon that we created. You'll probably notice that the hoop looks a little bit different than a normal one. This is an optional hoop. It's a magnetic hoop and it's really cool because you just lay your quilt down or whatever project and then the magnets hold it tight. So here's the design that we made. And when I touch that, it comes up and it has all its parts and I just choose the whole one, and then that's going to bring up that first curve on that hexagon. When you say okay, it's gonna give you actual instructions of how to hoop it. So I have my pattern in there very similarly, only it's just not quite straight, but that's okay because the machine's gonna straighten it out. So now what it wants me to do is to move the little dot, which you don't see yet, into the inner corner of my hexagon. So now, can you see that? Look at that. It has a marking line right there for me to be able to move my design right to where it needs to go. So I'm going to move my green uh, little crosshair right into that spot and then it's going to be able to uh, stitch out right where we want it to go. So I'm going to come in here and I want to actually rotate him a little bit now because he's kind of crooked and I'm going to choose the bottom and all I need to do is swing this over till it hits that line. So I'm gonna move him over until it gets lined up and then we're good to go. And then we'll end up with a perfectly stitched hexagon. So that is the same way that this one was created. It started right here and it worked its way all the way around and it knows just how to end it back at the beginning when you're done. Let's look at another thing in embroidery that is brand new and it is so, so cool. So let's go in here and I will bring in a design. Let's bring in Mickey again. So in Mickey, we can come in here and we can add stippling around Mickey if we want to. And you can change the size of that. Maybe I wanna have him have more space around his little head, or maybe I want it to be bigger. You can change all that. And you can also come in and tell it you want it to echo quilt. And echo quilting is just when you mimic the sh outline shape of a design and you can, then it goes out and out from that. So it's like ripples. So you have this wonderful design there brand new on the Luminaire 2, you can now choose the decorative fills too. We didn't used to be able to have this option. You'd have to go into the design center to do it. But now you have access to all 42 different fill styles to put in with your quilt pattern. So you can just choose one and there it will be. And you can change the size and you can adjust it from there. How cool is that? Another cool feature that you're gonna like is that if we come into embroidery, let's grab a really pretty letter just for simple sake, let's just grab a B. So if you have a design, it doesn't have to be the B, but if you have a design that has 
an outer shape. Obviously the B has an outer shape, but it also has holes inside of it. it has the positive and the, and the negative holes in there. So if you want to add quilting inside those holes, that was a chore before. Now it's automatic. So I'm gonna come over here to edit and I'm gonna to touch my little flower button and up comes my border if I wanna have the border be away from the outer edge. But there's also a little option here. It says inside and I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna put it into memory. Now, when I go into Design Center and I pull up that shape, go back to the flower, there's my B and say okay. Now, when I choose a fill style, we'll just do stippling for right now, but I can do the outside, but then I can also do the insides, and that's a brand new feature in the Luminaire too, making your sewing so much easier and so much fun. I mentioned that we had uh, the ability to do the decorative fills in the embroidery, so this was something that was really fun, and all I did was bring up the name in the machine and then I added the fill around it. So that was really pretty fun to do. And I love quilting in the hoop. I don't know about you. So let's take a look at some other quilting and how the projector can help us there. So I have a design that I made in Design Center. I just took the basic shape of the triangle like I have here and filled it with a fun dagger stitch. Now I can turn on the projector or touch that little party hat and it's going to turn on the projector. And then we're gonna be able to get this embroidered design exactly where we want it to go. So I'm gonna pull the projector down so we can see the edge of my fabric there. And then I'm gonna move down our little triangle until it gets, whoops, I went too far. It gets right where we want it to go. How neat is that? So now I have it placed exactly where I want it to go here. Let's take a look up at the top and I'll move it over. It looks like I just need to move it to the left a little bit and then I'm going to be good to go to sew that out. So how wonderful is that, that you're going to be able to use the projection to make sure that your designs are exactly where you want them to be. So in addition to all that fun stuff, on the Luminaire 2, you're going to find that there are more embroidery designs. So in my embroidery, there's a whole new category of cute little lemons up on the top, but then all these different patterns are added, and there's 50 different embroidery designs that are now added. And there's one that's really cute I'm dying to try, and that is this fabulous sewing quilting border, that's gonna be lots of fun. But in addition, in the embroidery, they've added more buttonholes and they've made them so you can have small and extra small buttonholes as well. So this machine is pretty fantastic. I think you're gonna love it. So come into one of our stores, check it out. The Luminaire 2 has so much more to offer than what we even could have dreamed for on our Luminaire 1. But good news, the XP1, the Luminaire 1, has an upgrade that's available to turn it into a machine that has all the same features that the XP2 has. And if you have a Solaris, it's the same way. Uh, there's an upgrade for the Solaris 1, and there is a brand new Solaris 2 that is available there as well. So come on into our stores and take a peek. I think you're going to enjoy all the creative and time-saving features that the Luminaire or the Solaris has for you.